People all over the world have been following the story of Hans Schmidt, the 26-year-old street preacher who was shot in the head while evangelizing the gospel back on November 15th. And there have been prayers coming in, again, from all corners of the world for this young man, former military medic, married with two young children. Well, an update now from Pastor Gary Marsh of Victory Chapel, First Phoenix, on the condition of Hans. We're going to get into it here in just a second. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you, as always, that we walk by faith, not by sight. And for somebody like me, it's kind of my only option. So Gary Marsh, pastor of Victory Chapel, First Phoenix, gave an update to his congregation. This was during the Sunday night, November 26th service, and he said that, I know a lot of you have been asking about Brother Hans, and he said, I'll just give you the update right now, although he said, I don't have much victory as it pertains to this particular update. He said, Hans is struggling, he's hurting, and he is in a very serious situation. Now, by the sounds of that update, it's not good for Hans right now. For those that don't know, and I know that many of you have been following this story along as I've been reporting on it, but for those that maybe are just tuning in hearing this for the first time, Hans was preaching the Word of God uh, back on November 15th on a street corner in Arizona, not far from his church, like he would do multiple times. And a bullet had gone through his head and out the right side. It actually, the bullet actually had gone through his brain and then through the right side of his head. Uh, he has been in critical condition ever since then. They've been having to drain fluid uh, from his brain. And as of about a week ago, doctors have said that short of a miracle, uh, you know, Hans is, is just, he's brain dead right now. However, what this has done is that it has ignited people from various churches in the Phoenix area to go right back to that corner where Hans was shot. And they have been preaching the gospel there in droves. So you took one man in Hans Schmidt and you've now got a hundred people on the same street corner who are preaching the word of God to what is obviously a very lost city in desperate need of a savior. So, you know, the devil may have thought that he's he got a win here, but he really didn't. Because all it's done, again, is just fuel people to, you know, be even stronger for the Lord in this case. And that just makes Satan extremely angry. Pastor Gary Marsh encouraged people to continue to pray for Hans for that miracle. I pray for his wife, Zulia, their two young children as well. Because I just keep having this feeling that, God's not done with this with this man yet. He has a purpose for him. And despite the fact of how it looks, because right now many people say, oh, this looks bleak and it doesn't look like it's gonna, he's going to come out of this. And I know that the suspect still hasn't been arrested yet either. However, nothing is impossible for God. You take a look at a situation and somebody who is brain dead and they're not expected to recover, that's when God steps in. Because why? He does the impossible. He makes the impossible possible. So what I want to do right now, and I don't always do this on all, on all my videos, but I like for those that are watching to just, you know, join me as well. But I would like to pray for Hans right here on this video. And for those that are watching, you can join me as well. You can be in agreement with me, but let's pray that God will just do the miraculous for this man right now. I'll go ahead and pray. Lord, we come to you right now in the name of Jesus, and we lift up Hans Schmidt to you, Lord. We know the situation is dire, but we know that you are a miracle-working God, and you are the God of the impossible. We believe right now for your healing touch upon Hans in that hospital right now, that you would just make him new again, Lord, that whatever damage is been done to that brain, whatever doctors are saying, we pray right now that you just restore 
every single part of it back to complete working health, Lord, that it would be even better than it was before, that this miracle would amaze the doctors, it would amaze the city, and that, Lord, that it would, it would even get, the news would even get to the suspect, the person who did this to Hans, and that they would become radically transformed and saved from this situation. We pray that Hans will get up out of that hospital bed and that he's going to have an incredible testimony to share when this is all said and done. We also ask for prayer right now for his wife, Zulia, for peace over her, for comfort as she deals with the situation on a daily basis, having to deal with the doctors and, and everybody else that's been helping Hans along the way. Help give her the, the wisdom, the peace that she needs right now to deal with everything that she's got going on. We pray for Hans's children as well. I know that one is very young, only maybe two months old. Uh, give them the peace as well, as they are probably very confused as to what's going on with their father right now. And we also lift up everybody at Victory Chapel, First Phoenix, who see Hans on a weekly basis, sometimes multiple times a week, that have preached with him on the corners there in Arizona. We pray for their peace and comfort as well, Lord, and that you would richly bless their lives and all those associated with Hans. We thank you in advance. This is done. And we thank you for good reports, future updates on Hans. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining me on that prayer for those of you who did. And I'll make sure to continue to keep you guys updated on Hans Schmidt as, again, we are believing that he is going to pull through and that he is going to have an incredible testimony to share of what you know, the devil meant for evil, that God really turned around for the good. And we're hoping and believing for even more reports of salvations from these other individuals from these churches that are now at that same corner street preaching, just like Hans did. Uh, so let's keep that in mind as well. Okay. Also, what I want to do right now, because I would, you know, would never miss this, uh, every video that we do here, we give people the opportunity to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. It's part of my ministry outreach here is, of course, I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines and keep you guys up to speed and everything else going on. I do it because, yes, we are in the last days, really the final hours, and Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching right now, though, if you are somebody who has not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do, right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life, that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more information for you in the description and a prayers, of course, will be continuing for Hans Schmidt, his entire family. I welcome any of you, if you have any thoughts about Hans, any prayers of your own that you would like to include, go ahead and leave those in the comment section down below. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.